Hi everyone, in this video we will show you how to place uh, leads for a 12 lead electrocardiogram or an EKG. So all you need is your EKG machine, you need your um, stickers for electrodes and obviously you need your patient uh, who you have already double identified, who you have gotten consent from and we have made sure that uh, the patient has privacy. Um, the patient right now is lying flat, which is the best position for an EKG. However, if you do need to raise their head a little bit, that is okay. Um, so what we are going to do first uh, is we're going to make sure that we're ready to do an EKG. Usually what I would do to start is I would untangle all my EKG wires because no matter how many times you use them and untangle them, they still can't tangle them. So these are your EKG electrodes and I will be explaining to the patient why I'm doing this procedure while I'm getting them ready. Let's start with the placement of the stickers for the electrodes. Um, location of these stickers is very important because that will allow you to get uh, a precise uh, EKG for your patient and for you to be able to read it correctly. Uh, and for the doctor to diagnose it, obviously. So what we're going to start with is our lead uh, stickers or lead electrodes. Um, when we are placing them, we, we're trying to avoid bone and we want to place them on muscle. Uh, you will see that the placement of electrodes is a little bit different uh, from the electrodes that you use for monitoring, for cardiac monitoring of your patient. Uh, because EKG electrodes will actually go further away from the patient's body on the limbs. So for arm limb, uh, for arm leads, we want to place electrodes with the little wing facing upwards because you will be clipping your wire electrodes to these. We will place them on the muscle of the forearm on both sides and we will do the same for the patient's legs. So here you have options. You might want to place your stickers either on the muscle of the patient's thigh or on the patient's ankle, again, avoiding the bone here. If the patient has a lot of hair and you're having trouble sticking your electrodes, or if the skin is oily, you might want to clean the skin with an alcohol-based solution, so just an alcohol wipe. Um, and for the chest electrodes, it is an option to clip the chest hair if they will not stick. Now we are going to go ahead and place our precordial leads, also called the chest leads. As you remember, they, there are six of them, and they are numbered through uh, from V1 through to V6. So where, how do I find their location? I need to remember the landmarking from my, the patient's chest. I will find the um, super sternal angle, and then I will find the angle of Louis, which is your manubrium, and that will tell me where the second intercostal space is. From there, I will count down to the fourth intercostal space, and I will start placing my electrodes. Uh, V1 and V2 both go into the fourth intercostal space, V1 will go on the right sternal border in, uh, in the fourth intercostal space, and V2 goes on the left sternal border of the fourth intercostal space. Then, instead of placing V3 right away, I'm going to go ahead and find the location for V4 first, because I know that V4 goes in the fifth intercostal space on the midclavicular line. So I will find the fifth intercostal space, the midclavicular line, and I will place it here. V3 goes directly in between V2 and V4. So I will place it approximately here in the middle. V5, we're going to stay in the fifth intercostal space, and we will go to the uh, outside auxiliary line here. And finally, V6 is still in the fifth intercostal space, but in your mid auxiliary line here. So this is the basic placement for the electrodes uh, for a 12 lead EKG. Now all we need to do is we need to attach the actual electrodes. 
And normally you will see that on the EKGs that you use on your units, they're all color coded and they also are labeled uh, from, um, you know, left leg, right leg, left arm, right arm, so RL, RA, and so on. And your chest leads or precordial leads are labeled and they're colored from V1 to V6. So I'm just going to go ahead and find the right leads and do that. I have left arm and you will see that my little wing is facing up so it's very easy for me to clip. Okay, left leg. Right leg. So why I'm doing this, this does take uh, a little bit of time. Uh, I try to talk to my patient to make sure that they're not too nervous, to make sure that they're distracted because the procedure might be anxiety generating. Okay, so now I've got V1. Remember, V1 is in the fourth intercostal space, V2, V3. V4, V5, and V6. So now we are ready to take the reading for our EKG. At this point, what I want to tell my patient is that they should be breathing normally, try to relax, and try not to talk for about 30 seconds, okay? Then I will go to my monitor, I will start, uh, I will say read EKG, or some of your monitors will just say have a big button that says EKG. If you're using an EKG machine, it's the same idea where you will push EKG on the machine. And what it's going to do is it's going to start to calibrate it. Normally, what you would see is three dots, you know, red, yellow, and green dot. And once the system is calibrated, it will give you a green dot. And then you can press print or you can press EKG again, and it will take your reading. At that point, your EKG is done, and you can disconnect your electrodes. Now, for the stickers, it is a good idea to take them off because um, they can become very itchy and uncomfortable for the patient. However, if you expect or you know that you're going to be repeating an EKG, uh, you can keep them on for a little bit because we always want to see EKGs that are taken in the same location to make sure that if there are any changes, it's not due to the fact that you have moved the electrodes. Okay, now for a woman, it might be a little bit different because you're look, you will not be able to get into the fifth intercostal space uh, exactly where you want it. Uh, for women with large breasts, uh, you might have to lift the breast and remove their bra if they're wearing one. Um, and you try to stick your electrode as close as you can to the fifth intercostal space, but it is not always possible. So try to get as far as close to it as you can. 